Right. But uh, yeah, I I didn't have a problem talking to you either. There were, I don't know. I think you've been aware of the show and like some things and I don't know misconceptions. Really. I, I don't really follow this. I, d I don't really follow all of this. Well, no, not I'm... not necessarily follow, but just be like awareish of it. And some of the things that have had, like the whole thing that blew up with the liberalist thing in the past week, and that 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 became a really big thing, and some people took it very very seriously. Who who was taking it seriously? No, not necessarily you. No, not talking about you really. You you seem to be pretty chill about it. I I've seen uh, your responses to it were more or less, you know bit flippant whereas most people uh, who post about it they're they're a lot more i don't know they seem kind of kind of mad about it not not put i don't know i'm not good at attributing there, might, there might be people out there who are but i mean you know i'm not people are gonna get mad about stuff drama no. stuff drama no, yeah. silly i mean like monday matt messaged me a tweet that he put out the other day where andy was talking about why he did it and Andy looks like he's turning into Gollum. Everybody's saying that that uh, Andy's getting a Because he looks skinnier. like he's turning into Gollum. He looks like he's got the Ring of Power. He looks like going to destroy him. I mean, like someone the other day said to me that his girlfriend came into the room and was just like, "This room stinks." So Andy, Andy's in a small stinking room with sunken eyes in a fucking hoodie, I, I hunched think... over like he's about to start saying, "My precious," and I'm just like. Well, he smokes right. a lot. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, all right. That's smoking. you know, you 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 go ahead and you register whatever you need to register, buddy. Because well, no, the the sting the stinking part uh, with today that part I do remember, but I don't know. Maybe he does look different. I I don't know Andy that well. He I started like talking shit. to Andy maybe three or four months ago, so I haven't <laughs> he, seen like the transition of like maybe he looks different. Oh yeah, back at VidCon last year, he he looked you know healthy and happy. Now he just looks sad. He seems a lot jollier than he like when I first met him. Like he was really fucking worried and I don't know, edged it's out on everything when I first him. met him. He he looks he looks run down. He uh, looks like he's in the eye of a storm that he doesn't really understand and doesn't really like. I mean, I someone sent me a clip of a live stream that he did in L.A. or something or Hollywood or something yesterday. Yeah, and he's uh, running around going, "I'm the king of the liberalists." It's like a leader of the liberalists, like Andy. You're not even the leader of your own channel. Well, who would be the leader of his channel? <laughs> JF is the leader of his channel under the auspices of Jim. Andy just sits there like a little bitch. Andy's not the leader of anything, and he knows I it. I think I might have to leave the show very oh, soon. No. I think I'm, I'm becoming too big for you. Oh, why do you say that? I want you to understand. While you were gone in California or wherever you oh, were, yeah. The mainstream media started being interested in me. I mean, it's up to the point where you can actually open up the Daily Beast and learn about my penis and where it has gone throughout the years. There's actually a timeline of my sexual life. <laughs> you understand that I may just be too big for your channel at this point? Well, Jared Holt, media. Jared Holt wrote a, a piece on me. So I guess we're fucking on even playing grounds right now, bro. There's nothing even. Did you ever have Jewish mainstream outlets be interested in your sex life, Andy? You're Everyone, not close yes. to it. Everyone's interested in my sex life now. We are the and I was detained in California by police you were officers. Detained. Yes. Everyone is going after us, JF. They want to fuck us. They are they are trying to fuck us. Do you understand this? Oy vey is right in the chat. Someone said, "Oy vey is right." JF, what do we do now? Do we just take people were DMing me? They're like, "This is gonna happen every week, man. Get ready, get ready." That's what all of this is about. All right, see now that this would be the kind of thing where people begin to think that you're really invested because, like that sound that sounds a little. Oh, angry. I'm I'm very invested in my stuff. I'm not okay. invested in any stuff. But then no one is, aren't they? Oh, fair. Yeah. It's fair, fair shade to throw. Like, and, Andy isn't around. It's so. not shade. It's just the truth, isn't it? Well, I mean, where do you think Andy Race Worski is going to be in five years? I don't know. Where is any of this going to be in five years? Exactly. That's a good question. Like, all this YouTube stuff is not really panning out for most people. And that's where that's why everybody's just doing isn't different it? things. No, it's Who's not. Who's it not panning out for? Well, 
by by your own admission last year, you the way that everything flipped around on the apocalypse. Now you're probably doing nice on Patreon. This it, it, it's not a step saying that you're not getting anything, but it's not working because of YouTube. I mean, you've even put no, out many videos working, about how YouTube's working. Wor- you said that I mean, YouTube is working actively against you many times. Yeah, I know, and that's that's definitely something we should actively work against. I mean, the the YouTube union's going surprisingly well. Uh, Yoey Yo- Sprague, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he's actually now in contact with um, I don't know what one of the community like um, like the monetization manager or something. So it's it's actually changing things. Uh, how long has the the YouTube union been at that? I haven't looked at that. Been a few weeks. Much. Okay, it's, few it's weeks. not it's not very long at all. But there was already like ten thousand content creators in it. Okay. So uh, I mean, if anyone if anyone is a content creator and you're thinking about like whether you want to have a voice and a say on the platform, I think the YouTube union is probably the best way to do it. Nah, maybe so. I think the there's going to be a problem that I think a lot of people are going to run into when they're attempting to do a YouTube union. Now, you would What's have that? to have. Well, if you got really, really huge names involved, you might. It, well, it'd be the, the guy who business. founded it's got over a million subscribers. So I'm, I'm talking about like a good couple with over a million. That yeah, that would he's that already would put got contacts with YouTube's monetization team. What's, oh, okay. But so you're gonna, in the first couple of weeks. I mean, we've on. only it's only just start, I say we. I haven't really done anything. I'm just part of the the group that's. Uh, I'm just lending lending my sort of uh, like to the posts on Facebook, but I feel you. you know that's it, it's it's if, done really if well it can be, in the short time span. If it can, if it can be done, that that would be that would be cool, and it would help help people. Out. I hear that part. I think so. But you're gonna run into the wall of the independent contractor thing. Independent contractor thing. Yeah. Uh, Go good example. Uh, <laughs> Oddly enough, happened in wrestling for like the past thirty years. They've been trying to unionize it. Mm-hmm. They can't get it done because they're independent contractors. And the way that the mm-hmm. YouTube, like the uh, terms of services, set up, everybody's pretty much independent contractors. Mm. 